released September 1st, 2021 by developer Gameos and publisher Whitethorn Games. Lake is a beautiful experience that some may consider a mailman sim. Me? I'd like to call this one a real life sim, without all the war, melodrama and despair. I've been waiting for a title like this for some time now without even knowing it. Thanks to Whitethorn Games for the review key. Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Lake is a narrative-driven experience that offers no butt-kicking marines, no alien invasions, no apparitions, no zombies. Lake is simply put, a slice-of-life simulator, one of the better slices. It's almost a meditative experience. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. On September the 1st, 1986, you are Meredith Wise, who decides to do her dad a solid by filling in for him as Providence Oak's mail delivery person. Your mom and dad are away on a much-needed vacation, and you've taken one from your hectic yet successful job at a software company that's about to take off. It's now on you to get up to speed with a quick crash course in mail delivery. Do your rounds for two weeks and see if the shoe fits. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? You'll meet the town folk. Most pleasant, some not so pleasant. Is that a parcel for me? No, it's for Bigfoot. You can just put it on the counter. Keep in touch with your parents with constant update sharing, check in with your boss who sees it fit to throw some extra off duty work your way, and pretty much learn the lay of the land to see if this slow-paced, take-it-easy lifestyle works for you, with the option of also finding your life partner. Aside from that, the story unfolds as you progress, using a choice dialogue system that may or may not affect your final outcome. People will hint at favors they'd like from you or just come straight out and ask. These favors will range from simple things like taking an old lady's cat to see the town's animal specialist, helping a lumberjack save the town's heritage, or attending your friend's musical performance at an open mic night at the local diner. It's a totally choice-driven experience till the very end. With that, of course, comes multiple endings. As you deliver mail throughout the town, You'll meet upon some familiar faces as well as some new ones. And Lake proceeds at this pace for its entirety. Lake kinda reminds me of movies I like to watch. Those dramas that seem not to have any real structure. Completely unpredictable. With none of the standard tropes we've grown accustomed to in movies. There's no dramatic beginning. No great build-up. No crescendo. And certainly no epic endings. Lake is simply a laid-back experience that most persons over the age of 40 could relate to in one way or the other. And it's all I needed. A slow burn that never blazes. No puzzles, no boss fights, no levels to clear, no mysteries to figure out. There's really no wrong way to play a lake. It's a short and satisfying experience. We ought to be heading back home. It's been a fine day and I thank you for the company. The visuals are beautiful. It has that hand-drawn, cel-shaded look that reminds me of games like Life is Strange. There were times when I saw where facial expressions could have been stepped up a bit more. To help convey moods and such but still adequate. While driving around, I took many opportunities to simply admire this beautiful rustic town in Oregon. Through its overall presentation, Lake nailed the atmosphere needed to pull you into this immersive experience. There are a few things regarding the visuals that I believe could have been improved other than the facial expressions though. First, when entering the mail truck, you don't see the actual animation of Meredith entering or exiting the truck. The screen simply fades in and out of black, which compromised the immersion of it. Then, the shadows weren't that great. Even when I set the graphics to Ultra, perhaps had I tinkered about a bit more with the custom settings, maybe I could have gotten them to look more refined. But I didn't, so who knows. But as it stands, they look rough around the edges. The audio was a work of art. The score was so fitting, so well done. Designed to keep me invested, the soundtrack played over the radio from the local radio station while a short playlist was filled with some really smooth and catchy songs as well. The sound effects and ambient sounds were also on point, intricately designed. The voice acting, it felt like I was watching a Lifetime movie, and by this I mean Lifetime movies are like the equivalent to a double A game or a second world country. Two terms not often used, and most don't even know what will be classified as a double-A game or a second world country. Same applies here with a Lifetime movies reference. The acting is good, it's believable, and it helps pull you in, but it's not triple-A. It's really well done B-movie acting. And it works here. Nothing was cheesy or immersion breaking, just really Lifetime. So, what do you propose? That I just get in your car right now? I wasn't gonna propose, but yeah. Meredith, I'd love that.
At one point, I thought they were going for a PG-13 vibe when I heard no profanity, but later in the game, a couple were dropped. And this matters, because while some are offended by profanity and would rather not hear it ever, I believe in real life, or at least lifelike experiences, and profanity is a part of life whether we like it or not. It's not realistic to believe I could spend two weeks in a town without hearing at least one F-bomb. This isn't a Nickelodeon or Disney flick or Stepford Wives. The man, of course. Always the fucking man. Now, the gameplay. Basically, I went over most there is to know regarding gameplay when I spoke about the story, but there's a bit more I can fill you in on. Lake was created with complete ease of use in mind. The devs did not want you to spend chunks of the game figuring it out, so they made it very user-friendly. You begin a new route every morning. You have a map which indicates who's to get an envelope and who's to get a parcel. All of this is outlined in the early tutorial aspects of Lake. You simply deliver to the point marked on your map. Sometimes you will meet and interact with an occupant, sometimes you'll knock and there'll be no answer. You can even use an auto drive system, so the game does all the driving for you. And there's also fast to travel. Now I never quite figured out what determines a fast travel point or an autopilot point. It seemed random, but when it showed up it was appreciated. I met upon some difficulty in the earlier parts though. It seems I was taking the waypoint and mapping systems too seriously. I didn't start out using the points provided on the maps to plan my routes. I was using the addresses, and the address system is a jumbled mess to put it nicely. It was clear to me, after a couple of hours playing, that I should not take it that seriously though. Once I simply followed the delivery icons, it was a breeze. But if you try to go by exact addresses in this town, you may get lost on this tiny map. It's an envelope today with an incomplete address on it. It only says Mickey in June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? The game has a lot of bugs, and sometimes when using the auto drive system, you'd see some of the bigger ones, like this one here. Other than the bugs I encountered with the auto drive system, I experienced repeated glitches when trying to enter the truck, putting mail in boxes, taking parcels out the back, and a couple random ones. At one point, I couldn't turn the radio off. It wasn't until I restarted the game later that I regained control. None of these glitches took away from the experience though. So far, Lake is still one of my favorite games I've played all year. Hats off to Gamius for coming up with this one. It worked! The plan worked! It's the game I never knew I needed to play. During and after playing Lake, I got so invested in the game that I was torn closer to game's end regarding staying in Providence Oaks or returning to my high profile software job. It was a choice that I pondered seriously, like it was a real life decision. While interacting with some of the residents, it felt like the choices I made actually mattered. At one point there was some discrepancies involving my co-worker with a gambling problem. I had to make a choice to give information that I knew would be used against him. And I found myself totally invested in the choice I made. Till even afterwards, long afterwards, my decision weighed heavily on me. But I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. While driving around, I felt like I was really in Oregon. I started contemplating actually living in a town like this, thinking what would life really be like living in a place like that. It kinda reminded me of the time I spent on the big island of Hawaii some years back. Yeah, I think I may have taken Lake a bit too seriously. Lake is just that type of experience though. It's that good. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Oh, hi dad. Well, it was okay. A nice change of scenery. I could make the redundant spiel, most reviewers do, by stating the obvious. Lake isn't for everyone, but at the risk of sounding like a smartass, I'm going to have to be that guy. No game is for everyone, and I challenge anyone to logically dispute that. Lake may not be for gamers looking for action, suspense, drama, a challenge, or anything along those lines, but for the rest of us, yeah, Lake did us proud. Sounds good? Sure thing. Goodbye, Miss Weiss. AAA games are all well and good, but many times, if you'd like a truly unique experience, one off the beaten path, then the indie scene is where you want to be. Show your support for independent game developers. Most, if not all, indie games are priced relatively low. Some are even free with the option to donate, so there's really no reason to pass. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If I found a way to piss you off with this one, though, then hey, we all know where to find the various hate buttons now, don't we? Either way, I won't hold it against you. Our game? It's never over. You said it. Oh.